welcome back to Ginger Sadie's Crafts. I'm Mercedes. If you like quick and easy craft and DIY projects, clearance hauls, thrift store flips, and rescue puppies, then you're in the right place. I appreciate you joining me today. For my video, I will be doing my first ever very real thrift store flip. Could be super cool. Could be a dumpster fire. You're going to have to stay tuned to find out. Now, what am I flipping, you might ask? Well, here it is. It is a really cool birdcage that I got at my local thrift store for $5. As you can see, it has like some floral in there. I don't know if you can see, like there's a bird. It's got some floral on top. So I'm going to be emptying this all out, cleaning it up, painting it, and then doing a little project to put at the bottom of my birdcage. So that way it'll flip, flip, it'll fit more with the decor I have here in my home. I appreciate you guys coming along for the ride. It is all pretty much live. I do this all for you guys to see what works, what doesn't work, just so you guys know that not everything is perfect and you just kind of have to roll with it and make it work on your own. And you know what, as I mentioned, if it's not perfect, that's okay. It just means that it's homemade. Anyway, if you like this video, I'd appreciate it if you give me a thumbs up. It's completely free. And what else is completely free, you say? What is that? Subscribing. If you haven't already, smash that button down below. Come on, help a girl out. I'm only 30 subscribers away from 400, and I can do my giveaway and give you guys something free, some really cool stuff. If you watch my previous videos, you've seen a couple of the items that will be in that giveaway. I want to thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel and let you know I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate it when you guys watch my video, like my video, and of course comment. I try to comment back as soon as I can. If I don't right away, it's not because I don't love you. I just get caught up with the puppies and the dogs and the house and everything, and I just forget, but I always try to comment to everybody. Also, another thing that's been keeping me busy, I don't know if you guys have been following along with my gardening saga, I have pumpkin sprouts, and I have some pretty fluffy ones too, so I'm super excited. In a few weeks when they get bigger, I will do a little video to show you guys my pumpkins, to show you, see how they're coming along, and then hopefully in the fall, I'll have my own pumpkin patch. How cool is that? I'm super excited. So anyway, thank you so much for coming and checking in with me today, and without further ado, do, let's get started. Okay, so here is the birdcage that I'm going to be flipping today. I got it for $5 at my local thrift store. So I'm just going to start by pretty much emptying everything out of it because I'm going to clean it and put something else on the inside. So we're just going to take all this stuff out. Well, theoretically we're going to take it out, but if people can get in here, I'm going to pull all this stuff off. Oh, that's pretty spiffy. So there's these little knobs at the bottom that you turn. And hopefully, detach this from the piece. Oh, look at that, guys. More knobs. More knobby bits. Oh, who would have thought deconstructing this would be so complicated? All right, there we go. We're in, guys. I feel like we're breaking into a bank. Like we're in. I'm just emptying this all out. Let's get this little birdie out of here. So I just have this empty base and bird cage. And then essentially, I just want to clean it up and get all the dust off. Because I'm going to be 
Okay, give me a minute. So I'm just going to clean it up, kind of brush it out, get some of this dust off. So I won't make you watch me dust the entire bird cage, but essentially I will be cleaning off the bird cage. And then when it's all dusted and cleaned off, I'm going to be using this uh, Rust-Oleum Painter's Touch Ultra Cover Prime and Paint and Primer Bonds to Everything Wood, Metal, Plastic, and More in the Satin Blossom White. And then I will show you what it looks like when we're done. So while the spray paint is drying, I'm going to put together what I'm going to put inside the birdcage. So for this, I'm going to be using a bowl, which is just from a set of two cooking bowls from the Dollar Tree. Some floral foam, also from the Dollar Tree. Some of the succulent pick from the Dollar Tree. Maybe some of this vine from the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure yet. We're going to have to play around with it. And then just some white rocks that I have on hand. You can also get those at the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to take a bowl. Super easy. And then in the bowl, I'm going to put some of this foam. So this picks have something to stick to. And go ahead and take the tags off the picks. So how is everybody's summer going? Is anybody doing any fun traveling? We're just staying close to home. Since we have the puppies, we're staying close to home because we can't really travel anywhere because we don't have any, any dog sitters to watch three dogs for us. So we are staying home. All right, so I have my bowl here. And then I'm just going to kind of play around with placement as to where I want my picks. And looking at how long they are, I'm probably going to have to trim these off. So I'm going to cut or bend some of this here. Make it shorter. Oh, no, I lost a leaf, y'all. I lost a leaf. I lost a leaf. Oh no. When my daughter was really little, she was so cute. She would go, oh no. <laughs> and it was so adorable. Oh my goodness. I just loved it. All right. Well, I'm not going to have you guys watch me struggle while I cut these. So we will be right back. All right. <clears throat> so I have cut. Some of these down, so hopefully they'll fit. So I'm just going to kind of play around with where I'm going to place them. Hopefully I can get them in here. There we go. Let's just straighten that a little bit. That one is still too tall. So again, yeah, I'm just going to play around with where I'm going to put these. I'm not exactly sure. Okay, we'll get there. We're all in this together, guys. We're all in this together. Mm, mm, mm. You guys remember that from High School Musical? My daughter, when she was little, loved High School Musical. Oh my goodness, does she love High School Musical. And did you know, I just realized this the other day, that the high school, the outside portion of the high school that they filmed, is a high school in Salt Lake City. And Zach Efron, who was in High School Musical, and Vanessa Hudgens, who was also in High School Musical, were recently there paying a visit and posted it on their social media accounts that they were back at East Side High, which happens to be in Salt Lake City. So I thought that was pretty cool. I was like, oh, look at that. I never knew that. So, yeah, my daughter loves High School Musical. Anybody else High School Musical fans out there? I have kids that love High School Musical because, like I said, my daughter loved it. And then when we were in Maryland, years and years ago, they had High School Musical on ice. 
but came to town after the second movie came out. And so we did a family day out to go watch High School Musical on Ice, which was super fun. And all right, apparently, all right, well, guess what, guys? I just took the entire wire out of there. Okay, that's okay. It's okay. So there's my succulents. I might play around with them some more, but for now, this is what we're going with. This is what we're going with. And then I'm gonna take my rocks and fill up the bowl with my rocks. Make it look all sorts of pretty, pretty fabulous. Try to hide all that floral foam there. in there. Hope everyone's having a fabulous day. Fabulous summer. So we're just filling in. Filling in the holes with some rocks. I might have to get some more rocks because it looks like I don't have enough rocks. But that's okay. I can find some more. You can buy more at the Dollar Tree. There's all sorts of options. You can get beads or seashells or whatever. But there's a gist of it. So that's what's going to go inside of our birdcage. All right. I was going to show you it um, empty and just painted and put it together for you guys. But I'll be honest, it was a struggle to put this back together. Uh, a few choice words were said, some things were broken. I won't get into it but the longer the short of it is here it is painted I added a little marble that I painted on the top because I felt like it needed something and that is my little birdcage flip with my cute little succulents on the inside I want to thank you guys for joining me today I hope you enjoyed this thrift store flip Stay tuned. There will be many more thrift store flips to come and have a great day.